I have six different variations on the Samyang Buldak Bokumyeon, which is the like chicken flavored fire noodles or nuclear noodles or volcano noodles, I don't know, the really spicy noodles. I have tried the original flavor. I did the, the actual like Samyang fire noodle challenge where you have to eat the whole bowl without having a drink or stopping or whatever. And they actually have loads of different flavors and variations. They brought them out like slowly one by one. I have six here. I think there is now a total of 10 different ones. What I have is here the jajang, which is black bean. I have curry, the stew type, so like um, like a soup noodle, the carbo flavor, the cheese flavor, and the mala flavor. What I don't have is the ice type, which seems to have disappeared. I can't find it anywhere. A couple months ago when I actually had the idea for this video, it was still around. Um, and now that I'm actually getting around to doing it, Literally, I can't find it in any shop. I can't find it online. I can't even find it in like the big Oriental supermarket warehouse thing in the city. What I don't have with me here is the original one because you know I've already tried that and the two times spicy which I have tried me and my family did like a little mini challenge of eating that all together um, and it's very spicy. It's like to the point that it's almost not enjoyable anymore. And the only other one I don't have is the newest type, which is the tteokbokki one. So other than the original and the two times spicy, I have tried the carbo flavor, which is carbonara. Um, so it's like cheesy, but Italian, I guess. And I've tried the curry one because uh, this one I also couldn't get in stores. I had to go online and they only sold it in the big five packs. So I'm, I just ate one because I had it available. The curry was very nice. I don't think I really appreciated the flavor so much because I was just very hungry and needed food. And the carbo one, I actually only tried like a small, the like instant pot, instant cup ramen ones. Um, so I wonder if it'll be any different eating the actual packet. So yeah, this, it's not a challenge or anything. It's not really, it's kind of a mukbang. It's a review of six different Samyang Buldak Bokumyeon noodles. <laughs> okay, so the first one we're gonna do, I have the noodles here, is the mala one, and that's the purple one. This one. Uh, mala is basically this, like, Chinese sauce. Um, it's Sichuan. It's like this really spicy, kind of oily sauce. It's made of peppercorns. It's really peppercorny. Now, I really like Szechuan food, um, like Kung Pao chicken, Mapo tofu, all that stuff. That's very good. But peppercorns can be very overwhelming. If you've ever had like a peppercorn sauce that's too strong, it's that kind of flavor that just like almost chokes you. <laughs> and it's kind of, Szechuan food is known for its like numbing. Not just, it's not just a burning sensation, it's like a numbing sensation. For every day of this, uh, challenge this mukbang that I'm doing. I'm gonna have a bubble tea or like a similar kind of drink with me. Today's is my favorite bubble tea in Newcastle, bubble cha, and I just got the honeydew flavor, which is my favorite milk tea flavor, with normal boba pearl. Oh no, save me sweet boba. This is hot. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if I can get through this one. Oh heck. This is a good start.
I've heard people online saying this is basically like four times spicy. Um, so you you can imagine um, the stress I was in before wanting to eat this if I couldn't even handle the two times spicy. The thing is, it's still very tasty. Um, the chicken flavor is fantastic. I'm sweating. <laughs> oh yeah, this is kind of like the. Oh, it hurts to talk. I just spilled bubble all over myself. I can't really tell that much of a difference, to be honest, in terms of the like variation in flavor. The heat, yeah, I can I can tell, and I'm getting that numbing feeling now in my lips. But now I wouldn't ever like buy this one to eat. So this is going last in my ranking. I'm not gonna be those one anymore. <laughs> You know, maybe I can finish this. Oh, my lips all plump and orange. Forget lip fillers. This is what you need. I did it. Yeah, I'm gonna rank that dead last. That was not enjoyable. <laughs> okay. I'm eating a bit late, so I'm losing the light a little. Um, but here's the noodles. Today I am in orange and yellow uh, because I'm doing the cheese one. So I haven't tried this before. This is my first time having it. Um, I've had the Carbo one before, so I hope it's kind of like that one in terms of the cheesiness. I do love a cheese ramen. I love putting like the fake American sliced cheese on um, ramen or noodles or whatever. So it comes with just the packet with the like cheese powder and the normal like sauce but it's got the cheese on it so I think think it's gonna be like a cheesier sauce like it kind of tastes cheesy so let's just pour that in oh. <laughs> mix it in it definitely smells like a cheesy version and now I'm gonna add the like cheese powder a lot of people don't like powdered cheese. Oh, it's got uh, it's got the seaweed flakes in it as well. Oh, but I really like it. I don't know, I like artificial cheese. Okay, as a side, I have leftovers. I've got a boiled egg, and um, this is bakso, which is an Indonesian like meatball dish. But this one in particular has an egg in it. So think of it as an Indonesian scotch egg. Ta-da. <laughs> and my drink for today is in this Wonderful packaging. Let me just move the noodles first. Look at this. It's from Moacha. It's, just, it's a new uh, bubble tea place in Newcastle. And it is a black tea, like a milky black tea, obviously sugary, with cheese foam topping, which sounds probably really weird to most people, but it's very good. Let us eat. It does taste cheesier. Mm, I like this one. I don't know how else to describe bakso. It's normally like a soupy dish with like meatballs. I'll put a picture. <laughs> yeah, this definitely isn't a spicy. I wonder if um, it's like a reduced spice or whether it's because of the cheese flavor, maybe it kind of nullifies it. In terms of where I think this ranks, definitely above the mala. I think I've already kind of decided that that's probably gonna be bottom. Is this better than the original? I think so. I think I'd rank this above the original. I do really love cheese. Although I feel like it's not as cheesy as other cheese ramens. I don't know if it's just because it's spicy so you can't really like properly taste the cheese or if, like the powder didn't really have much in it. As in there wasn't much powder. I would have liked it to be a lot more cheesy, maybe even like to the point that it's stringy. <gasps> Wait, 
cheese singles. I wish I'd remembered these earlier on. I even mentioned them. I wish I had thought of this earlier when I still had more noodles, but it's fine. Oh, okay, this is gonna be an experience. Look how nice that looks. Oh, look at that. That's what I wanted. The carbo one is a little bit more like this. Mm. Still hot, but oh my God. Mm. So, okay, I guess then without adding cheese, I think it's pretty much on par with the original. Probably I'd rank it below the original because if it comes down to it, I would rather have the original ones than these ones. Yeah, like if I had to do this as a challenge without the cheese slices, I think this would have been less difficult than the original ones. Okay, we done. We good. We thriving. Okay, today I am trying the curry flavor in this golden packaging that reminds me of like Japanese gold curry. Um, which is also, I think, maybe what it's based off because that's kind of what it tastes like. I have tried this one before because I ended up buying a packet of five because they didn't sell individual packets online. Mm, I love that curry smell. Yeah, it's definitely like a, a Japanese curry kind of smell. The flakes, I can't remember. I think it was like vegetables. Yep. It's almost 3 p.m. right now and I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm very hungry. And therefore, I also have a side of Korean fried chicken. The drink for today is from Cha Time. I just got a chocolate milk tea with hoodie. I was craving chocolate today, so I decided on that. I also, this is gonna, this is like a real ass look bun. Krispy Kreme have these like limited edition, I think, limited edition Kit Kat donuts, so. Gonna have those two. All right, let's actually eat these noodles. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's crunchy though. I don't know if it's meant to be. I don't know if I was meant to put it in like, while it was still really hot, so it kind of cooked. Oh well. Itadakimasu. I think that tasted better than the first time I had it. Yeah, actually, even now, I don't think the curry flavor is that strong. I think with a lot of these, because the spicy bulldog flavor is so strong, it's kind of hard to get the little hints of flavor. It definitely smells like curry. It probably, if I had like the original flavor right next to me and this, and I tried both at the same time, I think I would definitely be able to tell the difference. Be that as it may, I think the curry so far is in the lead to be my favorite. In terms of spice, I don't know. I think maybe it's slightly less spicy. I am having chocolate with pudding in drink form though. And I think they're both quite good at nullifying heat. This is actually leftover Korean fried chicken, so it's not as crispy anymore, but it still tastes nice. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell whether I'm getting more spice tolerant or the chocolate milk tea is helping, or this is slightly less spicy, or a combination of the three. Ooh, <clears throat> the chicken isn't even that spicy, but because I've already been eating spicy noodles and there's a, a bit of kick to them, I feel like it's amplified. <laughs> the slight sweat on my face from the heat is making my glasses slip off. I don't, I don't even need them right now anyway. They're for long distance. This whole thing has been kind of a strange experience for me because eating, um, for me, is definitely a social activity. Obviously, yeah, it's eating because you need to eat, but like the, like having a meal for me is very much a social thing. I don't really like eating alone. 
And I've been doing a lot of eating alone in front of a camera. <laughs> like usually when no one else is at home and I get like, you know when you get hungry? Hit that like button if you've ever been hungry. Going to the cinema alone, that is an activity that I can respect, I can get behind. Cause I mean, you don't even talk to people in the cinema. It's a dark room. I guess the only social thing would be like sharing snacks or maybe cuddling if you were in a seat that didn't have a huge armrest in the middle. It's basically a self-indulgent activity. You're just there with a huge screen and amazing sound system watching a film that you wanted to see. So I know I said it kind of reminds me of Japanese curry, but the image of the chicken, which changes on every um, packaging, the chicken is in what looks to be either a gravy boat or a magic lamp, as in like Aladdin and the genie's lamp, which suggests to me that maybe they're going for like, I don't know. Cause that's, uh, what? If it's genie's lamp, that's like Arabia, but curry, I guess, traditionally you would associate with like South Asia. Do some people serve curry on a gravy boat? I don't know what that was. Why did I do that? So I'm finished with the noodles. I could definitely eat these just anytime, all the time. So definitely my favorite so far. Uh, and I'm just gonna go and finish this chicken. Oh, should I try one of the Kit Kat donuts? Bonus mukbang moment. I have the chocolate Kit Kat. Just tastes like a chocolate donut so far. I don't, I don't think the chocolate part of a Kit Kat is really what defines the Kit Kat. I'm just living it up today, aren't I? Hello. How are we? Today I do not have a milk tea drink because two reasons. Number one, I was too lazy to go out and get one. And number two, I am having the stew version today. So we got some soupy noodles here uh, and I added some bakso. Here is the packaging for the stew type. It actually says Boldak Bokum Tangmyeon. I can read Korean, but I don't know what it says. I am guessing it means like a stew type noodle. It's already mixed in because the cooking instructions told me to put in the sauce um, the normal red packaging sauce with the like liquid seasoning in it while it was boiling. It also comes with this powder. Um, it says it's like a seasoning powder. It feels a lot more than like just the normal flakes as well. And it specifically says to put it in before eating. Okay, before, not after, before eating. That wasn't what I expected. Oh, is it like a starchy thing? Does it like make the liquid different? Uh, I actually think the ramen, like the noodles themselves are slightly different to the usual one. I may not have a milk tea drink, but I did make myself a banana smoothie because I still think that this will be spicy enough for me to wanna cry. My sister said that it actually wasn't as spicy as the normal one, but this was via my brother-in-law who you could probably feed a spoonful of lava to and he would thank you. Oh, I didn't even go on to explain. So I have a banana smoothie rather than an actual milk tea drink because this is stew noodles and I feel like that would then be a lot of liquid. Oh, uh, you know what I don't have? A spoon. Okay, now that I have a spoon, I'll try the actual soup first. I think that's kind of the main selling point of this. Yeah, that's spicy. <laughs> I really like it though. Mm. Ah, you see, so because the, the main bulk of the spice will be in the sauce, like in the broth, and maybe the noodles themselves aren't that bad. This is nice. I could have this all the time. Like, there's still definitely a good, like, a pretty big kick to it. So, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dismiss this if you do like spicy food. Okay, we're barely halfway in, but I think this one has jumped straight into second. I still prefer the curry, I think, but this is very, very, very nice. You know what? I'm gonna add cheese to it. <laughs> ah! Ok, 
Okay, as previously mentioned, with soup noodles, there usually is a point where you get full from drinking too much broth. And I believe that time is now. Oh, okay, so currently the, the leads are curry and then the stew type. Right, today we are doing the pink packaging, which is the carbo flavor, which I believe is carbonara. I think this was actually a limited edition for something, maybe Valentine's Day or whatever, because of the cute hearts. But like it's everywhere now, so I guess they decided to keep it because it's so popular. I've never actually had a carbonara because traditionally it has ham in it and I don't eat ham. Um, I'm guessing this one does not. It does actually say halal, so you would think. For my drink, I wanted something pink and I went back to bubble cha. And I, didn't, I don't really like strawberry milk tea as much. And I saw that rose milk was on there and I was like, I'll have that, but it didn't turn out as pink as I was like hoping, but it's still pretty cute. Um, I have some lychee jelly and most importantly, I have more cheese foam topping to go with the cheesy noodles. The packet of sauce that it comes with is smaller than it usually is. So I don't know, I guess I'm anticipating it to be not as spicy. It said in the cooking instructions to leave a bit of water to leave a bit of water um, in it, but I'm guessing it's to mix in the cheese a little better so that it's creamy, but actually I think all it's done is like soaked into the noodles and now they're a little soggy. <laughs> okay, and then we have the pink packaging with the powdered cheese in it. Ah! Oh, that smells so nice. Yes, look how creamy that is. This is what I was like hoping from the cheese one. Also, I have cheese slices in advance because I know that I'm gonna wanna put cheese on this at some point. Is this like Korean Italian fusion, I suppose. And you know what goes great with carbonara? Also I've heard, an egg. The noodles themselves are very similar to the ones in the stew ones, they're a lot flatter. Mm. Yeah, you taste the cheese in this one a lot more than you do in the actual cheese flavor. Is it still spicy? Yes, your average citizen would probably still not be able to handle this. But definitely more like flavorful. Um, I still think you, you can tell that it's like your, your Bulldog Pokemon, but it's, yeah, it's got very distinct flavor. Um, <clears throat> Cause I think the curry was quite subtle. The cheese also again, quite subtle. This one is like the first one I've had where the flavor does shine through. It's like garlicky almost. Like think of an actual pasta dish. Okay, let's break this yolk. Okay, how is it with egg yolk? Delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in first place. And I'm also gonna add cheese now. Honestly, I don't even know what this video is. It's just me trying all of them, but it's not like, not quite mukbang because you're not watching me eat the whole thing. Okay, this is currently top of the ranking. I don't actually quite remember what the ranking is, but it's at the top. Hello, so last, but I'm hoping not least, we have the jajangmyeon flavor. Uh, jajang is like a Korean black bean sauce and I've had jajangmyeon before and it's very nice, but obviously this is like Samyang's take on it. It's meant to be still the uh, nuclear fire noodles kind of flavor. So we'll see how that is. I actually already put the flakes in because it told me to do it while cooking, but mainly because I think it's got, it's got these like bits of beef. Oh, it's thick. Oh, it's really thick. Oh no, I don't want to spill it everywhere. This is laborious. Jajang! I hit two birds with one stone there because it is jajang sauce and I'm pretty sure that is how Koreans say like, ta-da. <laughs> Today's drink uh, I got from Breadpoint. There's no actual indication on the packaging. 
and it's from Bread Point, but it's an Asian bakery. Um, my friend in high school once described it as Asian Greg's. Let's get a really big first bite. Okay, maybe not that big. That is really delicious and actually um, spicier than I thought it would be. I think in my head, because it's the jajang one, it would be more jajang than it is spicy, but they really made it like a really spicy jajang meal. Let's eat a bow. Okay, I know it's chocolate, but imagine if this was more jajang sauce and I was just like, ah, haunted. God, I'm literally editing this right now. And <laughs> there appears to be footage missing, including when I talk about the jajang myon noodles at the end and like an ending. I literally don't end the thing there's there's no final ranking there's no like final comment or anything i remember filming it i remember in my head all those months ago filming it so it must have just been lost footage or whatever um so <laughs> the video is long enough already i'll just wrap it up here thank you for watching